Have you ever considered enhancing your development environment with AI tools such as Gemini or Copilot? Stay tuned to discover the advantages and disadvantages of each tool and determine if they are worth your time. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. In today's video, we will explore two of the leading AI tools for software development, Gemini and Copilot. Both can be used directly in your IDE. We will start with Gemini from Google, followed by Copilot from GitHub. These tools come with features such as code completion, which can significantly save time. But which one can do better? Let's find out. Let's start with Gemini. If you are using Android Studio Jellyfish or later, you can utilize these AI tools within your IDE to write code more efficiently and with fewer mistakes. It has a built-in plugin designed for Android Studio, but only if you are doing Android development. Next, we have Copilot. This tool is compatible with various IDEs, including Android Studio, and it significantly enhances your development process. Copilot particularly shines with its smart code completion. But how does it compare to Gemini? Let's put them to the test. Now let's dive deep into some practical real-world tests to see which of these AI tools, Gemini or Copilot, perform better in a live environment. I have prepared a few tests to compare and contrast their performance under different scenarios. The first test is about asking both of these AI tools to design a Jetpack Composer screen. The response time was the first thing I noticed. Copilot is much faster than Gemini. Let's look at the code suggested by Copilot. First is considered a user data class for the Jetpack Compose design, which I would consider a plus rather than hard coding the code in the design. As you can see, Copilot tried to use the code library as an image loader. However, the usage is outdated, and now code usage is a bit different, so I need to adjust the code a bit, but the result looks pretty good. Now let's shift our focus to Gemini's code suggestion. As you can see, the user info is hard-coded in the design. It just feels messy. The rest is quite similar to Copilot's output, but overall, I would say Copilot did a better job in this test. Let's move on to the next test, which is all about code refactoring. This should be interesting. I decided to refactor a code snippet from the Sunflower Android project. I chose Seed Database for her class. I asked both Copilot and Gemini to refactor this code following clean code principles. The code functions by reading plant data from a file and then inserting it into a database. Looking at the suggestions, Copilot considered two functions. First, create plant data, which return a list of plants and second, insert plant data into database, which handles data entry. The code is well organized, with clear naming conventions, and it divided into smaller functions, which is generally a good approach. However, I can see an issue where it checked the file name. If the file name is null, the original code returned a failure, while Copilot threw an exception. This changed the code's behavior, and also removed the logs. So, it's important to consider these suggestions carefully, but overall I appreciate Copilot's refactoring. Turning to Gemini's suggestion. Almost no refactoring. The only change is using Elvis check instead of an if condition, where it checked the file name nullability. Apart from this, Gemini didn't do any refactoring, which is somewhat disappointing. Now, get ready for the next exciting test, finding a memory leak. I've intentionally caused a memory leak within the garden activity by passing the activity reference to a runnable class. And now we're going to see how Copilot and Gemini handle this issue and which offer a better solution. Let's look at their suggestions. Copilot identified the memory leak, explained why it's happening, and suggests a solution using a weak reference to the garden activity in our custom runnable class. On the other hand, Gemini also found the memory leak and recommends a different solution, creating a handler that's associated with an activity lifecycle and using a callback to display the toast message. While both suggestions address the problem, they do so differently. Copilot's solution has less change to the original code, while Gemini might be a bit more robust in certain contexts. So which solution do you prefer? Share your thought in the comments. Lastly, we will test their code completion skills to assess which one provides better suggestions. 
In this test, I simply want to observe the suggestions provided by these AI tools within the code editor. I created a movie repository class and I'm curious about their suggested input. Let's start with Copilot. Initially suggesting a list of functions. On my second attempt, when I wanted to add a constructor, it added two dependencies to the class and based on these, it generated a robust function called getMovies. This function retrieved movies from the network. After first checking the database for any cached data, if the list of movies is empty, it stored it into database and return the movies, otherwise it used the cache data. It's a pretty good result. Next, let's see the code completion with Gemini. Once again, I created another file called movie repository. As you can see, it suggests very little, only the word of constructor or the get movie function name, nothing really more. When I tried to add some dependency to this class, it suggested movie service. Within the get movie function, it attempted to suggest retrieving movies from the network, but wasn't successful. Even the idea is quite outdated. Therefore, it's clear the copilot performed better in this test. Based on our test, Copilot appears to be a more effective AI tool for daily use, though Gemini could also improve quickly as Google continues its active development. While Copilot performs well, it's important to evaluate their suggestions carefully as they are not always accurate. Although it's worth noting that GitHub Copilot is a paid service, with packages starting at $10 per month, while Gemini is currently free. So, which do you prefer? Please share your preference between Gemini and Copilot in the comments. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm Ali from Otaku Channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to Otaku Channel for more awesome content. See you next time.